Uh, hey guys, it's me, Twilight Shimmer, and today I'll be reacting to the last Choose Your Own Ending short in Season 1 called Happily Ever After Party. So, so let's get right into it. Um, okay though, oh, sorry about that, um, okay, so they were in the play, I guess, but they were just as background characters. Oh, wait, what's the lowdown on the after party? Ho I also just realized that, that she's still in her apple, apple tree costume, meaning, uh, meaning, meaning this ending was the right one, I guess. Sorry, how am I doing that? Oh, then I'm ready to throw down. Is it gonna be the best night ever or what? <laughs> Suppose Perhaps. so. Whatever is the matter, girls? I thought you were excited for the soiree. We were. We even put together a super special slideshow of all the great memories we made while doing the play. But Mr. Cranky Doodle says parties are not an appropriate appropriation of his expensive. And this is why I hate some teachers, in my opinion, because. They're too, I don't know, much of a rule, of a rule book type of person, I guess. Projector. Maybe one of us can turn that heart of coal into a diamond. And anyways, uh, let's go to the first option here, which is Rainbow Dash. Wrong. Wrong. Right, but- Mr. Cranky Doodle, come quick! There's a full-blown math emergency backstage! A math emergency? Sweetie Drops fixing the- Okay, so for a little context here, Sweetie Drops- <laughs> Sweetie Drops is the actual name of Onbon bon in My Little Pony, French with Magic, I guess. Take the square root of negative one! Okay, first of all, you can't find square root negative one, I think. Well, I don't think you can. It's worse than I could have imagined! I say I am Oh my god. Oh, that joke was just bad. And imagined because... Who would bring dices into school? And that thing, I don't know how you even, like, it, it, it get caught with that. <gasps> Why didn't you just check there, Rainbow Dash? I'm just gonna borrow this. If you mean, if you mean still, then yeah, sure. Like they threw a splendid party after all. They just needed a little coaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are those girls anyway? Yeah. We gotta get back to. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so let's see if I can. Yeah, no, I can't. Ah, uh, here's where the problem really shifts into high gear. Take that solution and plug it into this function in the square. Okay, so let's go to the second option here, which is Applejack. If he's going to be stubborn about it, so can we. Hey there, Mr. Cranky Doodle. I heard you won't let us borrow your projector for our party. You heard right. Ooh, she's going to have a good old fashioned stubborn off. <gasps> I'm asking nice. Go back. Why would you leave that thing out in the open for some reason? I'm asking nice. 
The answer's no. Not leaving without it. You're gonna be here a while. Fine by me. Talking overnight. Got a sleeping bag. Floors. Wait, wait. You have a sleeping bag? I'm like, who brings one with them? Not comfortable. Air mattress too. You'll hyperventilate. Okay, really? You don't think he's? You don't think he's gonna be like, hmm? Is that actually my projector? Got an air pump. Won't let you plug it in. Foot powered. You'll get a cramp. Eat bananas for potassium. They're not in season. Okay. You're right. I can admit when I'm beat. Ha! I mean, I guess the real loser is Cranky because he lost, he lost his, he lost his a projector. <laughs> Great party, you guys! Yeah, good times. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Hold on, go back. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it looks right to me. Sorry about that. But I try not to talk when the video is playing. Hey! Thanks for finding my flashlight. Really? I. You care more about that than your actual projector, okay? I've missed this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go to the final option, which is rarity. Don't you worry, girls. In the fashion industry, there is no room for compromise, and I happen to be an excellent negotiator. Okay. Good evening, Mr. Cranky Doodle. Uh, hello, rarity. I am here representing the Cutie Mark Crusader. Okay, that still bothers me in, in a way because, you know, like Q marks don't exist in the human world. So maybe it's just, maybe it's just a thing that they call themselves, I guess. <clears throat> yes, I understand you are denying them the use of a projector. Yes, my projector. Uh, let the record show that Mr. Cranky Doodle has identified the projector in question. Okay, what is going on here? Ten. So, if I am understanding you correctly, this is your projector. Yes. And you take it home with you when the school day ends. Well, no. Oh, wow. Oh, she's good. Well, I can't do that. I... Mm, that's right. You can't do that, can you? In fact, this projector cannot leave the school premises because it isn't your projector. I mean... <sighs> I mean, he's right, because, you know, if you can't technically take it out of school, and then, is it, then it isn't your properly, technically, it's the school properties. At all. It is the property of Canterlot High School, a public school funded by hardworking taxpayers such as... Oh no, not taxes. As an adult, um, I really hate taxes because, you know... Because, you know, like, when you have a job and earn a lot of money, the tax man will come up, will show for me, like, hey, listen, I need to take, like, like, 10% or 50% of whatever, like, you make. Just Applejack and myself, so take... Wait, hold on. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed that. Myself, so take Applejack working taxpayers such as Applejack and myself. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So, so technically, is this not the taxpayer's projector? I mean, she's not wrong. My projector! Applejack's projector! <laughs> Therefore, did you not lie under oath when you identified it as your own? I didn't take an oath. I mean... I mean, personally, like, who takes an oath? You're out of order! This whole projector situation is out of order! I'm confiscating it as evidence. Wait! It's expensive, and it could be damaged if not cared for properly. Also, I pay taxes, too. 
I mean, true. You're saying you'd feel more comfortable if someone were there to supervise it? <laughs> I wish I could do that in real life. I wish you can, but you have to do it a lot, I guess. I guess. We did it! I'm delighted we could reach a settlement. In exchange for the projector, he could attack. You know, it's funny because at the start, Rarity said that there's no compromises, but then she had to compromise. Send the party to supervise said projector. Okay, really? Could you just stand away from the screen? <laughs> Anyways. That was my reaction to the last season one choose your own ending. I'm gonna start recording season two stuff for this uh, as soon as possible, but probably like probably not today because I need to rest for tomorrow and uh, Tuesday, Wednesday because I have a job. I have a shift in the morning. But yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.